Hi there, today we're going to practice multiplying by 2, 5, or 10. So if I give you the number 2 plus 2 plus 2, can you tell me what that adds up to be? Very quickly, I'm sure you can tell me the sum is 6. Now, if we were doing that by multiplication, what we'd actually be saying is 3 times 2 equals 6. Our product, or answer, would be 6, because we have three groups of 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2. 2, 4, 6. So knowing how to multiply by 2s, by, by 5s, and by 10s, what you're going to be doing, really, is you're going to be skip counting. Skip counting. Now, now you can skip count quite quickly by 2s, by 5s, and by 10s, so that will help you with your multiplication. Let's take a look at another one by 5s. If I gave you the numbers 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, if we can skip count by 5s, we can easily figure out the number. 5, 10, 15, 20. That's one group of, of five, another group of five, another group of five, and another group of five. Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. If we look at that at multiplication, four groups of five, that's the same as saying four times 5 equals 20. So by being able to skip count those groups, you can easily find that product or answer of 20. Now the same thing goes for tens. Let's take a look at tens. If we had the number 3 times 10, if we were trying to figure out that multiplication answer, we would have to make three groups of 10. So if we have one group of 10 here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have another group of 10. And we have one more group of 10. Can you skip count by 10s to figure out the product or answer? If you did it correctly, your answer is 30. We can skip count to figure this out. 10, 20, 30. So skip counting helps you with your multiplication, and knowing your 2s, 5s, or 10s will really help you with that. Let's take a look at a couple examples and see if you can figure them out. All right, let's try this one. 4 times 2. Can you figure out the answer for that? If you said 8, you're completely correct. Let's do our skip counting to figure that out. We have a group here, a group here, a group here, and a group here. If we skip count 2, 4, 6, 8 for an answer or product of 8. Let's do another one by 2's. How about 7 by 2's? 7 times 2. Let's see if you can figure that out. If you said 14, pat yourself on the back. This time we're not going to draw out the answers, we're just going to skip count up seven groups of two. So we'll go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. Look at this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven groups of the number two, and the answer is fourteen. Nice work. Now let's try multiplying by fives. Let's do five times five. Remember how we counted up by twos to figure out the product when multiplying by twos? Try that with five. Your answer should be 25. Let's skip count by fives, five groups of them. Five, 10, 15, 20, 
25. And if we look here, we have a group here. We have one group, another group, another group, another group, and another group. That's five groups of five. That'd be the same as drawing out one, two, three, four, five, 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 and one more group of five here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And that's how you get your product of 25, which is right here. So as you can see, skip counting really can help you. Lastly, let's try another one with tens. So I'm going to ask you, is 6 times 10 equal? If you said 60, you're completely correct. It's 6 groupings of 10. So we skip counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So if you look here, 6 groups of 10, your answer will be 60. If we did 7 times 10, you would notice we would have 70. It would be just 10 more than the answer we have here. Notice when you're multiplying by 10s that the product is always the number that you multiply by 10 plus the 0 because it's 10 groups of whatever number that is. It's always going to have the 0 there afterwards. Let's do one more. Can you tell me what 4 times 10 would equal? Skip count to figure it out. If you said 40, you are totally correct to give yourself a pat on the back. Great work. Today we've been practicing multiplying by 2s, 5s, or 10s. If you practice your skip counting when you are multiplying, it will help you in quickly being able to solve the answer. Let's do one more in review. If I asked you what 4 times 2 equals, you can skip count to figure that out. 2, 4, 6, 8. Answer being 8, because you have 4 groups of 2. Nice work. Can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.